couple of weeks ago, our next guest interview with Stephen Colbert went viral when she gave a passionate response to all the hate that she sees going on in the world right now. This is a little bit of what she said. Connect the dots. This is what happens. If you are in a position of power and you hate people and you want to cause suffering to them, you go through the trouble. You spend your career trying to cause suffering. What do you think is going to happen? Kids are going to be abused and they're going to kill themselves. And people are going to be beaten on the street. I have traveled the world and I have met the most marginalized people you could meet. I am lucky to have this time and the privilege to say this. This needs to stop. Please welcome Ellen Page. I paged you, Ellen. I paged. I texted you right after I saw that, and uh, and I also texted uh, Stephen. And I, I just thought it was amazing. And I know, I, I think you that didn't that wasn't planned. I think it was just a conversation, and then you just started saying that, right? Yeah. I mean, I think what people need to know is it's life or death. People need to know that when you're growing up in a society that makes you feel like there's something wrong with you, that something needs to be fixed, it's extremely dangerous and harmful. I, th I think you see that a lot too. I think um, because you had a show where you're traveling around and you're meeting a lot of people all over the world and there are laws um, in most countries against homosexuality. So I think you're seeing things that most people don't even see. Yes. So you're, you see the, the extreme of it all. But I think that, I think most of us, we, you know, we're so bombarded. You watch the news, you watch, we're bombarded with horrible things going on all the time in, in every area, not just, yes. you know, anti, uh, just gay. It's just, it's everything. Yes. And I think sometimes we just keep our heads down and we just keep trying to do well, what we can. And the other issue too is we have such little representation in the media. Yeah. And we don't learn about LGBTQ history in schools. And, and these are the things that we need because you know what it's like, Ellen. I do. You know what it's like to grow up and internalize homophobia and like live with that shame and how much that poisons you. Yeah. Oh, I do. Yeah. And I do too. Yeah. And we need to have these conversations because kids kill themselves, are kicked out of their homes, run away from home. 40% of homeless youth are LGBT. We need to be having these conversations. We need to be treating these moments as learning opportunities right and and what is the, what's the reaction like after you did uh, the interview with Stephen um I know that you have gotten a lot of praise and I texted you and I'm sure you got lots of texts from a lot of people for for saying how brave you are and how important it is but you've gotten criticized for this yeah naturally <laughs> I get criticized for a lot of things just for being who I am and, and um and speaking out for equality you know I guess I'm just trying to communicate and I was, you know, this is the goal with the show Gaycation, um, to, to help people see the repercussions and the consequences of harmful rhetoric and the normalization of anti-LGBT beliefs and laws in this country. In mm -hmm. 29 states, you can be fired just for being who you are, denied housing. The attack on trans rights is appalling, just completely dehumanizing people. Yeah. And people are going to be mad at me when I say that. And, and that's the problem. Yeah. Well, they get mad, too. I mean, you're not just a, you're 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 an activist. You're a political person and you care about things and you talk about the environment. You talk about lots of things. But I think that that's the one thing that people are singling out and, and upset about. But it's just the truth. Yeah. And the thing that needs to shift to in the media is like it's not a debate. Marriage equality should never have been a debate. Yeah. It's not a debate. Yeah. You, 
Um, I'm fortunate enough that I have been married now 10 years. We got married as soon as it became legal. You are now married one year, and uh, congratulations on that. Um, she's, um, she's a dancer, right? Yeah. So does she, uh, yeah, she's a, that's how I, I saw you doing a routine with her, and I was like, oh my God, that was incredible. But is that how you met her? I, I saw her on Instagram, mm -hmm. and a band I love reposted a video of her dancing, and I just was like, wow, this, she's incredible, and I followed her, mm -hmm. and then she direct messaged me a little bit later. Mm -hmm. We're both Canadians, so you know that classic line. Um, no. And, <laughs> yeah. I'm teasing, like, hey, I'm from Ottawa, you're from Halifax, let's hang out. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, we just, I fell madly in love, and, uh, and I feel so fortunate to be married to her. Yeah. I look forward to meeting her. All right, so let's talk about your uh, Netflix show. Yeah. So the um, Umbrella Academy, is it's called, and everyone's a superhero. Yes. Um, and yet you had to learn how to play violin. Yes. Um, it's, it, and that's a hard instrument to learn. It's so hard, just like learning how to hold the bow. Is, you know, so. Well, and also you have to lean like that and get a crick in your neck. Yeah. You have to hold the, the violin like that. Um, <laughs> all right, I think we have a clip of it, right? Okay. How long has it been since five disappeared? It's been 16 years, four months, and 14 days. Your father insisted I keep track. I always used to leave the lights on for him. I was scared that he would come back. It would be late and the house would be dark and he wouldn't be able to find us so we'd leave again. Your father always believed that number five was still out there somewhere. He never lost hope. I look where that guy. So cool how they do that. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, the Umbrella Academy. It's available now on Netflix. Ellen Page, uh, I, I'm proud of you. I know it's uh, you get a lot of uh, criticism for what you're doing, but keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it. We'll that. be right back. <laughs> I just found out 